Hey guys, have no fear, Vlad is here. Today's video offers a clear and comprehensive tutorial on how to install WordPress using Docker Compose. For those unfamiliar, WordPress is a web content management system. It was originally created as a tool to publish blogs, but has evolved to support publishing other web content, including more traditional websites, mailing lists and internet forums, media galleries, membership sites, learning management systems and online stores. For the detailed written guide, access to the GitHub repository featured in this video and the best method to install Docker Engine and Docker Compose, please check the description below. We will use Traffic as our reverse proxy. It will handle obtaining cryptographic certificates from Let's Encrypt for your domain names and route requests to the corresponding services based on those domains. To obtain cryptographic certificates, you will need A-type records in the external DNS zone, which point to the IP address of your server where traffic is installed. If you have created these records recently, you should wait before starting the installation of the services. Full replication of these records between DNS servers can take from a few minutes to 44 hours or even longer in rare cases. All right. Let's dive in. Connect to the server on which the application is planned to be installed. Now it's necessary to create networks for your services. Let's create a network for traffic. Next, let's create a network for the application. Now you need to clone the repository that contains the configuration files, which include all the necessary conditions for the application to work. Navigate to the directory with the repository. Next, you must change the variables in the env file according to your requirements. While I prefer using them as my text editor, you can use your favorite one like nano. Note that the env file should be in the same directory as your configuration yaml file. Now let's start the application. Allow traffic some time to obtain cryptographic certificates for the domains you specified in the env file. In the meantime, you can ensure that the containers are running smoothly by inspecting their logs. First, list all active containers. Then, using the container name or ID from the list above, retrieve its logs. To access the application management panel, use the domain you previously defined for your application in the env file. Enter the username and password previously set in the env file and click on the login button. To access the traffic management panel, use the domain you previously defined for traffic in the env file. Enter the username and password previously set in the env file and click the sign in button. That's it, you're all set! I aim to give you something I never had, detailed and straightforward IT guides. If you have any questions, please ask me or our DevOps community on Discord. The link is in the description of this video. And I will be so happy if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also ring the bell to get notifications about my new videos. Share this video with friends so you can learn together. Have a good one!